Hello guys and welcome back to the channel or to the channel if you are new. Um, it's been a hot minute, I apologise. I'm working on quite a big build that I wanted to do because I randomly had inspiration of like making a gated community in The Sims 4 but I decided to do a smaller kind of home uh, in Strangerville because I don't care what anyone says about the Strangerville pack, uh, whatever it's called. What's it called? I actually forget what it's called. Strangerville Mystery? No, I, that does not feel right. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I forget what the pack's called and I don't care about any of the gameplay, but this world is like my favorite. It gives small town vibes of like rustic, very old houses, kind of like a very, um, I guess, like neighborhood who's lived there for a very long time. They don't have a whole lot of money, but they have a whole lot of community. And I absolutely adore the idea of all kind of houses like this in just a community full of people, like older people who have lived there their whole lives that just know each other like the back of their hand, go out drinking every night together, or not every night, but like every weekend they go out after their week at work and just trash talk everything. And I absolutely adore the idea. So that's what I did. I wanted to do a smaller build because guys, I had no idea what to do for my gaming channel because if you didn't know I'm creating a channel where I'm gonna vlog more about my real life and next year I want to travel so I was like what do I do with this gaming channel it feels kind of pointless I don't have much time to game and then I was like no I really really have this vibe to create some sims houses and I was like you know why don't I just post them and then I went and had a look at my like channel and saw I gained like 30 subscribers even though I haven't posted in a month and then I saw that like one of my shorts hit like 40,000 views and I was like oh my god I need to post I feel terrible I kind of just ditched this channel and didn't even look at what was happening I haven't been re replying to any comments I'm so so sorry uh, I'm very active over on TikTok though I post every single day multiple times a day but I've just been so busy but I really really wanted to do this so yes I built a small home and it's been quite it was quite fun to make I used a lot of CC so I'm very sorry I really like how it turned out like it doesn't look like a normal house it's kind of like no it looks like a normal house but it's out of my range of like what I would usually make I make modern houses I'm not very good with like mismatch um like windows I usually put way too many windows or like can't with roofs but I think I'm really proud of how this turned out and so the backstory in my mind was like this mum she drinks a lot she you know kind of just works at like a convenience store she doesn't have a whole lot of money and she's a single mum and all she has is her baby girl who's like 10 maybe like between the ages of like 10 and maybe like 12 so she's like still a little kid but she's going into those like tween years and her mum despite loving drinking and not having a lot of money and um you know just living in this small town she still gives her daughter everything possible she absolutely adores her daughter and would do anything for her and she really wants her daughter to achieve all her goals and so she really tries to put all her money towards her daughter which i think is so sweet and despite all of these like setbacks she's a great mother so i try to really convey that in like the house and i'm really proud of how it turned out i'm kind of just doing the kitchen now it's nothing interesting for the kitchen i couldn't even fit a dining room inside but i do put a dining room outside and so i yeah just did like a really basic kind of, like kind of like broken blinds and kind of just like run down a little bit like she has to work so much to make ends meet with her job that she doesn't have time to clean the house as much and then her daughter tries to like spend time with her friends and like outside of the house and you know she loves being away uh not necessarily anything against the house but she's just a very busy daughter as well and so the house doesn't get cleaned a whole lot so i tried to add some like trash and stuff but nothing too too crazy some like bin piles on the floor like they've overflowed the bin and then i just added a washer outside because i couldn't really find any room for it inside and i thought you know it fits outside totally fine and then i just added a like pickup truck kind of car it looks fancy but I couldn't find anything that wasn't really fancy and I was like you know that fits the best so I added a recycling bin and then a general bin and a mailbox and I don't know I just really love how it turned out to be completely honest and yeah I just added a few little bits of trash uh, to make it a little bit look more lived in I guess you could say and yeah it's quite a small house but I still feel like it's kind of cozy and also it's still big enough that like 
you know, it's, I haven't play tested it and it has a lot of CC. I did put it up on the gallery, but like, I really don't know how playable it is. Like, I don't know if you guys could download it because there is a lot of CC. But I, I would love to do a CC free build just because that way you could download it and then I'll like play test it and then you guys can play in it if you want. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> feeling really out of breath all of a sudden. I was like fine and then I went to record and now all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I can't breathe. But yes, I did like added just a bit of like trash around and a bit of clutter to the kitchen because I still wanted it to look lived in in a sense. Um, so I hope I could conveyed that through kind of the way of decorating it and yeah I like downloaded a bunch of CC so I was just having kind of a look-see through it and then I started on the mum's room and the mum's room's a little more rundown than the daughter's because I imagine a lot of the money just goes to the daughter and not really herself like she's like I put my daughter in front of me all the time and so that's it and then I added a few like cobwebs and a few like mm, but I still think it like honestly is quite a cozy room. I don't know if I could sleep in it because there's spider webs and I hate spiders but you know it's there's nothing wrong with the room it's just a bit small but there is nothing wrong with that and um I just added blinds to all of the rooms because you know matching curtains does tend to make a place look more put together and I added a dresser with some I think beer bottles on top of it and then just like uh some cigarettes and I don't know what else I put there maybe a plant I don't know I can't see it's really tiny on my screen and I had like a crack and just a bit of a chip in her wall and then some license plates on the wall I don't know why I just imagine like when she was younger she loved road tripping around with her husband who's now her ex-husband and kind of ran away but before then she did a lot of traveling with him in like their pickup truck and she collected a lot of different license plates from different places that was like her version of collecting things which I think is really cute and then I added a dresser and I don't add it till later but I also add a tv on there because I realized I didn't have a tv and I was like oh my god it would be really cute if there was a tv in the mom's room and then the daughter like comes in to snuggle and watches like movies on a Friday night with her mom or if maybe while her mom's gone drinking at the pump she has a friend over and they watch it in there I thought that would be cute and I don't think her mom would mind because she knows sometimes children just want to watch some cartoons and there's nothing wrong with that uh, but moving on to the daughter's room, I tried to make it look a bit more cutesy and like young girl vibes. I should know what a young girl likes. I was once a young girl, but <laughs> I don't know. Let me know how I did. I tried to make it look more crazy because I do think the mum would put a lot more care and attentiveness into this room and make sure it stays clean because she would never want her daughter to get like sick or anything or <laughs> get bitten by a spider at night. So yeah, I tried to do some cute decorations. I imagine they definitely own this house. Like it's Everyone in Strangerville kind of owns their own houses. It's not like rental because they've all lived there like generations down the line. Like they've all grew up in this small town. So they definitely own the house. So like the, everything is like fine. There's nothing, you know, every painting, every drawing on the wall is real. Like it's nailed in there or it's plastered on. Like it's very much, her mum was like, you decorate the room however you want, honey. It's completely up to you. So that's what I did for that. And I really think the daughter's room actually seems super nice. And I'm not a young girl anymore, but it, it, it would be a great childhood bedroom in my opinion. Uh, and then I added like a little nightlight because, you know, sometimes we get a little scared of the dark. And then I decided I wanted to have a dog because every good family needs an animal. And then I was going to add the dog bowl inside. And then I was like, no, I think the mum would be like, no, honey, the dog has to eat outside. That's gross. <laughs> and so I added like a little deck outside. And then I was like, oh, that's great. I can add a dining room outside because they have stools inside. But, you know, if they want to have a few of the neighbors over, they have the outside decking where they can sit and have a few drinks and... The children can play inside or out the backyard or something like that I tried to add a few toys and so I added like a clothing line but they're both CC so it's uh, neither the washer nor the clothing line are functional but I thought they looked cuter and more like fit the vibes but if you wanted to download this you could always replace it with something functional uh, but yeah, just warning you if you did, I'm pretty sure every single item in this thing other than maybe like a bed um, would probably be deleted if you didn't have the CC. I got a lot of the CC from I think her name's Jasmine Raditz. I don't know. She makes like really realistic builds and I think she's super cool and she like down like shares all the CC she uses. 
So if you wanted my CC, you could just go to her YouTube channel and her Patreon and then she has it all linked. I, yeah, that's where I got it from. I, I don't know where else I could share it, put you towards for that kind of CC, but that's what I used. But moving on to the bathroom, there's just one bathroom in this place and I added like a lot of toilet rolls. I imagine the mum, it's like we have to bulk buy it, it's cheaper. <laughs> so that's what she did. She has a lot of just toilet rolls sitting there and I don't think the bathroom's too shabby to be honest. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty normal bathroom. I feel like just as far as bathrooms come there's nothing too special about this one it's hard to make a bathroom interesting to be completely honest so I, I really don't have much to say about it but I tried to add a bin because two girls living in the house you gotta have a bathroom bin um and then I was gonna add a shower but then I decided on this like shower bath I don't know why I just suited it suited it more I don't know what to say and then I tried to do something interesting for the hallway I couldn't figure out what to do so I just added a desk because I was like maybe if the mum needs to do some paperwork or like I don't know she can do it on that desk there and then the mum uh the daughter can do her like homework on the desk you know just a space that she can do it that's a bit further away from like all the action of the backyard or the kitchen or whatever it's just a bit more secluded kind of um I mean she could also do it on the bench in the kitchen which I'm sure she does sometimes when, while her mum's cooking but either way there's just a desk there that kind of gives more study vibes and it fills up the space and I couldn't really figure out what painting to put there but I think I just put a pretty generic one nothing too exciting about it and then I just move on to the backyard add a few trees and like just some child's kind of decorations nothing really exciting but I do think it turned out really really cute but anyways that's kind of all I have to say about this build I apologize for being gone for a month but I'm going to try and post more frequently and upload but follow my Instagram and TikTok for more like active updates and also follow my vlog channel because I'm definitely going to be posting some really exciting videos over there soon anyways thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed I love you all bye